Women always, when they go for expeditions with the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what do they do? They usually, in the back, serve the fighters or, or, or take care of the wounded. And that's what she did. Now, if you learn the rest, you will say, anybody else in this day, no, no, no. I don't want to stay in the back. No. I am as strong as them. I want to be in the front. Are you getting my point? She didn't. She was in the back. When did she come to the front? And this is a lesson for all of you. Wait till Allah use you. Don't jump to it. She didn't go out to make a statement. And so history will talk about her. And Rasul said this famous more than one statement about her. That's not her purpose. She went to serve Allah. She went to serve Allah the way usually woman serves Allah. But Allah had another plan for her. And what happened? What happened? Come on. It's Uhud. So as long as the Muslims were winning, she was in the back. Now what happened? You all know the story. Now things turned around. And what happened to the Muslim? The fighters, companions, what happened? They ran away. And this is how it's described. And if you read, you will find the same description. Very few people, they said, less than 10. Companions, Sahaba, ran away. Very few, less than 10, stayed shielding Rasul Who was it? One of them was she and her son. She and her son. She didn't go for that. But when the opportunity comes in, to serve Allah, to do something most don't do, she was there. And what happened? She did not go out as a fighter, so she doesn't even have a shield. She ran with only her sword and bear, nothing. And the Rasul is behind her. The fighters were running, and the Rasul looked at one. There's no name. And he had a shield. And he said, if you are not fighting, give me the shield. He gave him the shield, and he gave the shield to Sayyidah Nusayba. You know what is this? Again, when Allah wants to use you, he creates the opportunity for you. And he facilitated. And he facilitated, facilitated in a way, perfection. Don't do it. Don't do it with yourself, meaning ask him to use you. But don't put orders to Allah, as I say this to myself. I want it this way or that way. I want to serve you, Ya Rabbi. You want me to serve you as a speaker? I'm here. You want me to serve you as the person who cooked the food, to serve the people who attend the conference? I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Don't pick and choose. This is the deen of Allah. He chooses where he wants you and where he's going to use you. And the result is the same. So her son comes in. She had two. Both of them died. But not in, uh, in Uhud. Habib and Abdullah. So Habib was running and he, he had a wound in his arm, bleeding. And the Rasul told him, tie it and come to your mom. You need to feel this. It was a fiasco. It was a mess. They were losing and running. He comes in. What is she doing now? Now this is the mother. This is her son. Now this is the fighter. Look how many hats she was wearing. Now she's the nurse. She pulled her son. She had around her tied some bands because she was going out for nursing. She take one band. Tie her son wound bleeding, and what does she say? Go back and fight. 
Look at me and you. Go back and fight. What did he tell her, alayhi salatu wassalam? No one can do what you, you just did, ya Ummu Amara. This is one of the statements he said about her. No one can do that. Your son and everybody is being killed in the mass, bleeding. Anybody else will say, you know, he's bleeding, go home. My baby. Not Ummu Amara. Not Nusayba. Allah knows you and me what would have done. And then she sees a warrior coming to kill Rasul She has nothing. She's not a fighter. But when you have the faith, when you really love Allah, when he puts you in the place where he wants you to defend, I'm there. And then he comes in and they were all on horses. She was not riding. They were all standing. And that man comes in and he missed her. Then turn, and then she hit the horse, and the horse fell, and the man fell, and then she killed him. Nusayba. That's why he said, We cannot do what you are doing. That's a woman, one only. And then at that point, she said to Rasulullah, What did she say? Pray for me and my family in the middle of the battle. Pray for me and my family that we are with you in Jannah. And of course he prayed for her.